it's going to be like going for the gin once again. And to be honest, for Lion Crisp, who can blame them after how that last game went? They've got that Maokai once again to set them up. And it's this one. Or whoever loses this one, I suppose, maybe will change their mind on that one. Flash from Tarzan. He wants to deny anything from Weiwei. The red buff slowing still level one on the Ivan. And Xiaohu flashes, but doesn't get the first blood. Not been able to find too much more since then. Punk. Looking for a chance in the mid lane uh, here. No flash as well. There is a chance to be oversteps. Cause no tenacity at this point of the game. Probably won't get it in his entire build. Oh, he's hovering towards him. the side of the lane. Hung is. Hung has flashed to make the engage happen as well. There's the Zenith Blade. There's the stun. And a root caller to follow it up as well. Buster shot. Sets up for a kill for Hung. How is no carries getting the kills? A game off. Yeah. Uh, so it's <laughs> such a huge power spike. Either way though, LG off the back of that will be very happy to start these grubs off and you can see Tarzan making a beeline down towards that Drake to try and respond. I will say, um, for those of you who are ARAM enjoyers, you know exactly what, how hellish it is to play against supports with actual gold. Sadly, in Summoner's Rift, it does mean that you deny that gold from someone who is just going to be a lot more useful at some point. Then you get the Iron Man Shields on top of you. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good in this game. And while you are going to have, you know, the Maokai out and the Rail Alt being big AoE engaged, if the Leona is stood in front of that engage. Jin is going to struggle to cut through the Leona. I think Zeri's going to struggle to cut through that for a little while too. So it really is on Weibo to make sure they can somehow ignore that Leona, especially if they're getting ahead of the game early. I was wondering whether Breathe would uh, essentially flash for an extra stun, but I don't think he would have had the kill threat. Now with Daisy, summoned in bot side, Weibo. See that extra front line and the engage. engage from Chris, but immediately the curtain call to finish it off. Shahu finally gets a kill, but Chris has gone down. Tarzan jumping onto Gala. Shahu exhausted, so he can't finish the job. Light now chasing onto Scout as Hunk tries to escape, but rooted. And Shahu's here to zap him down to slow him up so that Light can flash forwards to finish the job. Hung will fall and Weibo find a fight. Xiaohu gets the kill after that one too. So Weibo, they do walk away with another fight. It's not led to a gold lead so far. Fantastic game. Game one on the Vi. You are not the Vi this time. You can't get out like that, Zucker. Flashes for the root. There's the follow-up from Weiwei. Zucker sets it up. Fates breathe in. Breathe goes nice. for the slicing maelstrom. LNG moved up towards it. This would have been six scrubs for LNG. It's been a bit more contested than I thought it would be. Tarzan moves in. And it looks like Weibo will gain control. Weibo backed off from that one. Let's have this smite available as they move in to potentially snag away a fourth one. Hunk trying to tank, but no. There's three groups for Weibo. Can they survive the fight? The route onto Chris, but he's just gone. That is not a tank at this point in the game. He's breathing. He's breathing. Chance to set himself apart. The exhaust is good, but the CC is enough. Hunk goes down, but Zik is still going. Scout is still going. Breathe flashed away from and will end. Falling scout gonna chase it and the buster shot finishes the job. So it is three grubs away, oh. but, but at what cost? The ult's coming through. Don't think it'll kill Zucker. Stops the recall. Coming out from Zucker yeah. and expect that number to continue to rise. You can see Zucker. him on the crooks right now. He is power farming. So this is going to be a, a little bit of a like an advanced, I guess, a bit of a um, kind of complex point, I guess. But early gold is good on everyone. That's kind of pretty easy to grasp. That's early not gold that is better. Yeah, early gold is better on people who have items which need time. And there are only really two tier two items which work like that. You have tier items, then you have Rod of Ages. Rise builds both of them. So if you get early gold on Rise, it means even more to him than it does typically on other people. So your Rod stacks quicker. So your tier starts st stacking quicker as well. The fact that Zucker is now this far ahead on a champion like this in a matchup which is meant to be a counter is really, really important. Really like what LNG have done here. They're going into the bot jungle now. Rail Warp could come in. Green takes a bit of damage, but the root comes in, and I mean, Hunk's going nowhere. Redemption. Weiwei Wei keeping his support alive for now. Bomb on the head of Chris. As it's a long fight, it's a drawn out fight, but in the mm. meantime, Zika's pushing the waves. Uh, so so I see that light. Comes from most child's uh, youths back in the day, you know? Nobody had a full yeah, set. Miss yeah, <laughs> miss missing a Joker card. Uh, look, LNG. Um, it, this is their comfort zone now, and I'm actually quite worried for Weibo. They're against the gold deficit. You have, um, you know, six stacks in the Rod of Ages, and the Seraph starting to stack up as well. Gala is being um, a bully. Very much in control of the river, and they love to push that vision line even further. But Drake is the call. There is a ward in the Dragon Pit, so maybe there's some kind of play available for Tarzan. But the Drake's just going to be gone. The roots come in, and now a fight for Weibo. That's what they've got to look for. 
but LNG stands strong. They look for the engage themselves. Xiaohu locked up by the Solar Flare. Here comes Breed once again, looking for Scout, but he doesn't have the damage. The redemption saves everyone as Chris looks for the follow-up engage, but he's down. Buster Shot is there, and it's absolute carnage in the river. Blood flowing. Zika teleports out. True Shot Barrage hits two. Wei Wei trying to escape with his life, and he won't get rooted as Gala over the wall. Chasing the Morris Tarzan. Flashed on by Zika. The damage is there, and Wei Wei gets the shield out, but the curse. Dramatic as one falls and Wei Wei survives. Time to go! Zika still alive! It's blood on the ground. I don't think this is the battle of Fangorn Forest. I think it's the battle of Teutoburg Forest. The legions go marching in and they are not seen returning. LNG find their advantage and immediately pounce. Breathe on that top side of the play, but still 10 seconds until his ult is up. They can't contest. It's Baron for LNG. It was Drake for LNG. It's a fight for LNG. One of Aegis, he's got his Archangels online. He's headed towards his Zonyas as well. <laughs> I mean, Zuck has taken over. Yeah, um, so if it was bad before, imagine what it's going to be like now. It's so hard to kill. He's got so much damage. And as you see, Weibo, I think Weibo have been too ready at trying to split the fight. I think they're afraid of taking a grouped up fight against the Ivan and the Leona. Because they don't want to just go straight down the middle into this hyper tanky support with the Ivan shields. But they don't want to split too much either, because then there's Rise there. LNG have all the answers with this kind of gold on the Rise. And it just doesn't feel like this cannon is the answer that Weibo are touting it as with the way that they're drafting such priority onto that top lane pick for Breathe, but it's not been working out. Now a chance for Breathe to show his quality. Won't quite find it. Scout still surviving redemption. Not enough. Maybe a chance for Weibo. The Shaohu free firing, stacking up with the Zeri. Tarzan extends the fight and Aru comes in from light as well. Shaohu has to carry this one. Curtain call flies on Gala. in. Gala's taken over on the backside of the fight though. And somehow LNG is still in it. Gala goes for more is Shao who escapes. Gotta deal with these shields. And no, normally that would be the Rails job. I I wonder if that's a mistake, you know. I wonder if you need I wonder if you drop too much damage when you're this far behind the game. Normally I say yes, Serpent's Fang, maybe you can clump people up up enough. Maybe kill Wei Wei so he dies before he can get huge shields out. Oh. Catch up to Tarzan, that's not a great start. Yeah, Tarzan, not the guy that needs to be caught here. This is disaster for Weibo. It was already a tough game. But with him going down just as Baron spawns, that will be the objective. Pretty much uncontestable. Chris used his ulti, Buster shot it away by Scout, so that's the big playmaking sword from Weibo we see gone. Um, it's quite hard to tell how uh, easy it is for Weibo to mess up in situations like that because we weren't seeing them in their fog of war. If you look at how shallow Weibo's vision is, though, it's so hard for them to play. And now you've got Ivern shields on people walking up with Bloodthirsters as well. It is a ton of shields for them. And yes, the Serpent's Fang, I guess it gets some value now, but I just don't think you're going to be able to kill them all the same. This push is so, yeah. so disgusting for Melanji. I mean, the thing is, Serpent's Fang, it'll do a bit to the shields, but even half of these shields is still an obnoxious amount of shields, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. I still feel like he's getting value. That's going to be an in him on the top side. TP behind enemy lines here. Breed trying to get on the flank, but he's too late. The rest of the fight's already kicked off. Tarzan's gone again. Redemption comes on through as Hunt will survive for now. Exhaust Breed pretty early on, but Breed won't be able to survive long enough to ult. Xiaohu and Light, last two standing. And LNG have no interest in ending the game. They want to end the lives of the Weibo players chasing Xiaohu around the map. This will be at minimum triple in him. Uh, I think that could just be the game. I don't know whether Weibo can hold on to this. Yes, well, Light, he's going to go down. That'll seal it off. LNG, they do manage to pick themselves up the win. Zucker, we saw this champion from him in that last game, and we wanted more. This time, topically, he's rise to the occasion. He certainly has. 6 0 and 5 with the counter pick. The cannon sent packing, and LNG put themselves on match point as they look to push through the lower bracket. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LPL Summer Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.